Good morning. Welcome to our first crafting in quarantine. Um, today we're going to make little hedgehog puppets. Um, it'll be a little slide onto your hands like this. And for today's project, you will just need a piece of brown construction paper, some white scrap paper, a glue stick, some scissors, and a marker. And we'll go get started. So first you'll want to fold your piece of construction paper in half. And then we're just going to cut along that line, that folded line that we just made. And we're going to set this aside because we're going to come back for this. We're going to use this. But for on this half of, we're just going to sort of, you don't want to fold it all the way. You're just going to fold it enough so that we can cut the corners off. We're going to round this out a little bit. that you have skim around it. So when you open it up, the end is rounded. For the other end, we're just going to cut the corners off to make it triangular. So we have a triangular end and a rounded end. And we're going to use our glue stick. Sorry. We're going to use our glue stick. Just glue, put a little bit of glue here on your triangular side, your pointy side. And just fold that over. It's going to be okay that there's a little point left because we're going to cover that up with a nose. So we have the start of our hedgehog. So now you're going to take the other half of your um, piece of brown paper that you used um, and we're just going to cut out two strips. So we have two strips and these will be our hedgehog spikes. So we're just going to cut about halfway into our paper to give them some fringe. We'll do that on the second one too. You're just cutting about halfway down in to your paper. So that you have some fringe. And then we're gonna fold this so fold your fringe so we have part to glue, like so. We're going to put the glue on this edge. So we'll do that to both 
our pieces of fringe, our spikes, our hedgehog spikes. And we'll take our glue and just glue along that folded edge. And you can put them anywhere on your hedgehog you'd like. Like so. And you'll do the other layer as well. The other piece of fringe. And I like to sort of bend my fringe up, make it really look like he has some quills there. And so we have, our hedgehog now has two layers of quills. And now it's time for his eyes. And um, so you're going to take your piece of just scrap white paper. You just need a piece of white paper. And I actually traced the lid to my glue stick to make round eyes. So you can do that or you can just free hand draw it. Um, and then we're going to cut his eyes out. Once you have the two traced, they'll make Now we have two eyes for our hedgehog. And I used just a gray marker. You could use any kind of marker you want, any color, given whatever color eyes you want. And you're just going to use that to draw the center part of his eye. And then we'll glue those on to our hedgehog's face. You can put them wherever you want. And now it's time for our hedgehog's nose. And his nose is going to be an oval like this. Um, I didn't have anything to trace, so you can just free draw an oval um, on a piece of black paper. And so we're just going to Have our black oval for the hedgehog's nose. And put some glue on that. And we're going to glue it right to the bottom. And there you have our hedgehogs. You can put them on your hand as cute little puppets. Um, if you don't have brown paper, feel free to use whatever colors you have. Um, I've seen them in pink. I've seen them in blue. Um, and those are our hedgehogs for today. If you make a hedgehog today or any day this week, 
please be sure to share it with the Alfred Box of Books Facebook page. You can use the hashtag Bob Quarantine Craft. That's hashtag Bob Quarantine Craft. Um, and let us see your hedgehogs. Thanks.